<laughs> All right, coming up next to the stage, uh, a wonderful performer who's been here, who's graced the stage a few times with us, actually. Absolutely. Always very lucky to have her. Please put your hands together for Miss Mindy Fuller with the Relevant Underground. In the name of the dollar, interest, and capital gains. God dollar, thou art my idol. Hallowed be thy gain. My kingdom come, my bankroll run. In girth, as my financial planner's forecast has given. Give me this day just what I said and more money to make more money. As I collect more and build up my store, finance is my only redemption. But deliver me from import fees and taxes, for mine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Pay men. <laughs> A reading from the Book of Prophet. <laughs> there will come a time in the history of man that money will be exalted over all the sea and land. There will come a time when man will close his eyes and allow the profiteers to grow enormous and gigantic in their size. There will come a time when man will be subjected to the ills and wills of money and man's soul will be neglected. There will come a time when impunity will reign for money-making brokers who, dear friends, they have no shame. We are a nation of corporations. We are a nation of sheep. We are a nation governed by wolves who salivate when we bleat. They've stolen all our freedoms when we mildly look away. They slowly and methodically have turned the world into green and gray. The only thing that matters is the great old American buck. And I don't think I need to tell you, friends, that we're all super fucked. <laughs> Citizens United has become a solid fact, and now we can't compete. We've been lobotomized to act. Unlimited donations to the politician of your choice, point blank. They don't have to disclose. We've completely lost our voice. We've allowed currency to become the language of the day, and I don't have to tell you that for that we're going to pay. Corruption! Corruption! We hear it every moment, but is anyone doing anything about it? No, it's like our conscience. It's gone dormant. The average American citizen is complacent just to live in their oversized consumer lives because they don't know what they can give to the cause to take our country back from those money-hungry jerks. In fact, most Americans are just happy to sit back and get the perks of that low, low price at Walmart. And despite the truth they know, they won't self-actualize or self-identify with that which in the background lurks that the workers are exploited. They're not paid living wages. They have institutionalized sexism, undereducated masses in their Walmart frocks. I call those soft cages. Not to mention the cheap price of the useless, unnecessary garbage that is made by hands of children in third world countries on the margins of the world that we call civilized. If these innocent lives are demoralized by the needs of mass America, what if that child were your daughter or your son? Or what about even you? That's just a terrible way to live. Isn't there something that we should do? But no, we'll all sit back and see what's new on TV. But believe me, someday, Big business is coming. They're coming for you and me. And as we flip through those channels and our minds are fully assaulted by the images and taglines of these giant corporations that have vaulted over consumer regulations and protections to sell products 
that are dangerous and bad for us. But still, we do not stop this. I challenge you to pick a brand and then look it up online and find out how many lawsuits have been filed against them. How many do you think you'll find if you take anti-anxiety medications? Now would be the time. But the biggest sham we all allow is the one we call Wall Street. If we continue on like this, we might as well all admit defeat. We have no taxes on capital gains, so all that is needed is a little more time, and the division of our classes will be so vast it's bound to spark a crime. And eventually, someday, a millennia down the road, we'll revolt against the hand that holds us down beneath the waterline of the moat that is drowning us and causing our minds to decay until they bloat on yet the news of another corporation that totally knew the automobiles they sold to us would not do what they said they would do, and there's proof that they knew that harm would come to them, but they focused on the bottom line, and they let those death traps roll on out, and they thought it would be just fine because they made money. Money. You get yours, I'll get mine. Because money makes the world go round. Money makes the world go round. And I myself, I live within the belly of that beast. My concerns here are for you, my friends, but as well for myself. Yet at least I can say that I am torn, and I have to have this release because the jaded monsters wearing suits with pockets bulging full of mirth, they strike me at the root, and yet I'm caught in the invisible net of my net worth. So I've gotten a, a little off track. I've a little bit lost my mind. That's to be expected in this era where the dollar has 